Radio Show. Well, as you can see, I love watching Cooking with Tittle, and I'm so glad you love watching, too, because we've got a new email address. That's right. It's Tittle in the middle at live, L-I-V-E dot com. So I do hope you will email your Tittle. I've got some great green things going on for this year and some healthy treats. Bon appetit. Let's eat each and every Thursday at 7 p.m. and Fridays at 2 p.m. right here on Channel 19. And now, back to the show. Hey. in the middle. Want to have some fun? Welcome to the LaDonna Tittle TV radio show. Love fried, baby. All right. Say fried, we at the table. Okay, sure. <laughs> LaDonna Tittle TV radio show. And we're just and we're an okay off-the-cuff cooking show. We are. We're like a cooking show that has fun. The show in the middle. LaDonna Tittle TV radio good. That feels so good. And just think I didn't have to do a needle because I am scared of needles. Okay? Now you're going to do one needle because you have a tight, you had a really tight shoulder from when you fell. So I think we should uh, get a needle in there. Just one. It's going to be quick like a mosquito. Well, you got to try it. You I try, you may, you're, I'm trying chitlins today. <laughs> you are. And I, okay. I'm actually really excited about them, but if you, you can try. do chitlins, I can do one needle. Well, I'm gonna love the chitlins. You're gonna love the needle. Let's try one needle. Oh my god! It's gonna be quick. I've never done this before. You're gonna be fine. Don't oh, worry. So I'm what? just gonna swab you right there, like that. It's gonna be like real quick. All the needles come in packaged. I'm just gonna open one needle up. You don't even need to see it. I mean, if you want to see it, it's like a hair. Uh, it's nothing. I don't want to see. It's like a hair. No. Uh-uh. I already saw Ed the friend. You won't even know it's going in. Take a oh breath in. Oh, my goodness. And out. Oop. Oh. Did you feel that? How was that? It's in. Where? Right here. You want to get it closer? Ah! <laughs> there you go. There it is. It's nothing. You know, I didn't feel it. Of course you didn't. I told you. I'm pretty good at that. Oh, my God. And this is relaxes me, right? Well, it's going to. I mean, we're, we're going to have to do a full treatment later on today. But today, we're just going to, just for you to try so you know and you're comfortable with the needle. Can, can we go try the Chinese medical cooking Yeah, let's first? go eat. Let's go eat. Let me just get can this I... needle out. Ready? Uh-huh. That's it. Whenever you want to take it out, go ahead. It's out. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, great. I'm out of here. Uh, 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 uh. I am so excited because today she's going to show us how to do Chinese medical cooking. I have no idea what that's about, <laughs> but she's also an acupuncturist. That's right. Skills. This girl's got skills, I tell you. And she's also going to show us how to plan her favorite thing, chilies. Hmm. It's really going to be a hot show. <laughs> chilies. Can you believe it? I never planted those, so I can't wait to learn. And you know, during these economic times, we need to learn how to grow our own food, right? Especially chilies, I can't wait. Well, you know what I always tell you, when you're going to visit somebody in the neighborhood, as we do with visiting kitchens in the hood, always bring something to drink. And today, since we're thinking green with Nicole, I thought we'd have mojitos, why not? And to spice them up, some rum. You always have to spice up those things. Hey, 
You're cooking with Tittle, and we're doing Chinese medical cooking with Nicole Sheldon. Bon appetit, let's eat, and let's go see what Nicole is doing. Hey, Nicole, it's Tittle. Hey. How you doing, girl? Good, come on in. Ooh, you look pretty. Oh, it looks so nice in here. Wow. You happy to see you. I'm so happy to be here. Hello, hello. Oh, mwah, and mwah, and mwah, and mwah. Mwah. I brought the chitlins. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> what you doing, <laughs> girl? I'm dying to taste this. Well, I'm about to plant some chilies before we go up and start cooking. Oh, you know, this is the part I really want to learn, too. So I'm just making a hole, and it's about an inch and a half deep. Uh huh. Just, you can do it with your finger if you've got gloves on, even without gloves. Okay. And I'm just gonna tap a few. These are the Thai hot peppers. All right. And so I'm just gonna tap a couple in there. I cover the hole up. You don't wanna do it too hard. You want it to be able to breathe so the plant can come out, you know? Okay. So you just kinda like gently put that in there. And I already used the soil earlier. Oh, potting soil. I, I like the pot. So you just plant those little bitty seeds and they bend. And then and it'll have, a, uh, we'll get a tree. Uh -huh. Well, a little plant will come out in about two weeks. All right. And if two plants come out, I'll just, I'm only going to leave one growing. And the reason I've got the stick here is because I'm going to wrap the plant around the stick so it's sturdy. And it can grow once the chilies come out. You want it to be able to support the chilies and not topple over. Oh, and okay. So gonna, how tall will it grow? It'll probably grow up to here, and then it's going to grow out. So I'm only going to have two plants here. Okay. And I'm going to give it a little water now. Oh, wow. Just so it's nice and moist. Well, you certainly have the perfect garden spot to do it. And then we can go in and start cooking. My special guest today, Nicole Shelton, and now my very best friend because <laughs> You know, that little needle kind of worked a little bit. It, How's it, it feel, feeling? It Is it feels feeling good? much better. Good. All right, girlfriend. So tell us, what are we going to cook today? Well, today we're going to, well, I'm featuring chilies. Chilies, of course. <laughs> we didn't know. <laughs> chili addicts, I confess. I love chilies. The hotter, the better. Yeah, that's why I like you. And so we're, I actually, we're going to do a Thai dish, but I wanted to show an, uh, an array of chilies just because if you don't feel like making this Thai dish, you can go home and make whatever you want. And there's many different ways that you can use chili mm -hmm. to as a medicinal food. And you know, besides it's, being a very hot, <laughs> hot lady, okay? <laughs> well, you know what we like to say on my show. I know. You're cooking with Tittle. Tittle. Bon, bon appetit. appetit. Let's, Let's eat. eat. <laughs> Let's get started, girl. <laughs> this is the biggest cabbage I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it makes a whole head. Check it out, check it out. <laughs> That's a credit card, just so you can see. It's perfect. That's my head, folks. <laughs> Tittle talks to cabbage. This is beautiful. Where did you find this at? I found this actually up in Uptown at the Asian grocery store off of Broadway. Wow. And what do you do with a big cabbage like this? Well, we're going to slice it up like a pizza. We're going to take little pie slices out and we're going to eat this raw with our dish, with our Thai dish today. Oh, wow. So, so what is our Thai dish composed of? Our Thai dish is going to be, we're going to be using these chilies. Okay. Which is a ground dried chili powder, mm -hmm. very hot. And then we're gonna be using these, which are the fresh chilies, which I just planted. Oh, that's right, that you showed us all how to plant. Don't yep. forget that, folks. Wow. So this is what happened. You, this is probably like a uh, chili plant and a half. That's, or you could probably get this many babies out of a chili plant. Well, we see, Nicole, that you are really in the chilies. You even wear them. And that's good. I, I love do. a girl that wears what she likes. <laughs> I chilies. do wear my chilies. You're hot stuff, girl. <laughs> so now you got a lot of hot things going on here. Why don't you tell us what they are? All right. Well, uh, we've got a little bit of a chili collection here, even though it's only like a little portion of all the chilies in the world. But I wanted to show you that you can use many different chilies. Mm -hmm. 
And this is a Mexican lime and chili powder, which is delicious. Oh, wow. With chicken oh. and stuff like that. Louisiana hot sauce, which yes. this is this is to go with your chitlins, which For I'm dying chitlins. to taste. Oh, listen, I'm telling you, they're dying to taste your chitlins. Yeah, I can't <laughs> wait. <laughs> and this is a Thai sriracha sauce, which is a delicious sort of vinegary, peppery, hot sauce. We've got the Frank's hot sauce. Okay. We've got a habanero, which is dangerous. Don't go to the bathroom after you touch this that. This one, you said, is absolutely hot. It'll burn your skin. I can't wait to give it to my neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, that's, that's a mean self. Right? <laughs> and then we've got the dried chili powder, which is a, a large flake. This is a large flake. This is the ground flake. Okay. So this is very powdery. And then I'm gonna just move oh, these yes. to the Let's side. Do this. Oh, right on. Okay. And right here we've got some Hungarian paprika. That's a hot paprika. Mm -hmm. I also have some more in the cupboard that's a sweet paprika. There's many different kinds. Paprika is just a pepper. Dried pepper, yeah. It's you nice. put it over deviled eggs and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, that's nice. Or like in a stew or when you cook like fish. I did or... my gourmet macaroni salad and mm. I forgot to put the paprika on top. That would be I'll tasty. have to go back to that film, but go ahead. And then here we've got the Indian curry powder, which mm -hmm. is a really nice hot one. We've got lots of different other spices in there, cumin, coriander. Over here we have some dried chilies. Okay. So that's a good way to preserve, like when these chilies are done, I could always dry them, okay. potentially, that way they don't but I bought these dry. Okay. And they're not quite as hot as the fresh ones, but mm. they have a nice kick. And then down at the end over there, right this that one, here. that's the Japanese chili powder. We've, we've got a bunch of like sesame and we've got some uh, seaweed, dried sea. Oh, it's tasty. That's a salty. It's a very mellow chili. It's not crazy. You put that in like a noodle soup or oh, on some okay. dumplings. I could have probably used this in my chitlins. Mm. Okay, all right then. Well, as you can see, we have a lot of hot stuff going on. We do. And right now, now this dish that you're about to prepare, what exactly does it have in it? Okay, so it's called Lap Mu, and it's a Thai dish from northeastern Thailand. Lap Mu. Lap Mu. <laughs> Lap Mu. Spell it. Well, you would spell it L-A-R-B, and then M-O-O, -O, like a mooing cow, but so you pronounce this? it Lap with a P. And so is this from Thailand? Too? It's from northeastern Thailand, which is like the hottest region in terms of spice. Okay, so what all does it have in it? So we've got some ground pork, mm -hmm. and we've got lime and fish sauce, mint, cilantro, Ooh. scallion, shallots, um, chili, fresh chilies, yes, the ground dry garden. chili, okay. exactly. Then we've got some, uh, we've got some toasted, rice powder, which I'm going to show you what that is later. Okay. And I think that's it. That's what we, I, had, I already said mint, I think. Bon appetit. Let's, Let's eat. eat. Let's get to this hot stuff. We've got our garlic here, and I'm just going to, I'm going to be crushing it with my Mongolian rock. This is a garlic crusher in Mongolia? Well, I actually just picked it up in the Gobi Desert and I thought this is the perfect garlic crusher because it's got a you flat surface. The... See all the garlic I've been crushing for today? This is so great. Oh my God. So, so just bang it. Just give it a, a give it bang? A, give it a whack. Whack it with the bottom. Now, this is the way Smash I crush it. Yeah, garlic. do it like that. Oh, oh it fell from me. Oh, yeah, come back here, garlic. Just give it a squish it. There you go. Feel that? Isn't that nice? Oh, I love this. Yeah. And you just go, oh, that, that crushes it and really And then good. you can just so easily, you like, just get the skin right off. It's like that. Oh, great. Okay. And so, then, so you want me to bang it, right? Yeah, bang all of them. Oh, bang, bang them all. Oh, wait a minute. Let me pretend that this is my boss. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, boy. <laughs> oh, this feels so good. <laughs> Oh, I better leave that alone. I might become addicted. <laughs> oh, it's addictive. Everyone wants this. This is like my, my, my most Feel prized good. possession in the kitchen. It is so neat. So we're just going to slip these slip skins these off. off. Okay, great. Oh, this, this, oh, this is great. Everything that we're prepping is staying raw. We're just going to mix it in with the cooked pork. So, so when you're going back to uh, Mongolia, 
I don't know. <laughs> it's far away. I want to say, find me a rock like that. <laughs> well, I'll find you a rock somewhere else. And maybe, like, you can find these. I, I look for rocks everywhere I go that I see a big rock. You just got to find a rock with a flat bottom. Oh, that and is so can, cool. Yeah, it's awesome. It's the best kitchen tool I've ever had. So. I knew I would have fun in Nicole's kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Another green thing, because we are doing green. And so we're drinking green. So I'm going to make. While you're slicing up your shallots and garlic All right. for our Chinese medical cooking here is what we're doing today, folks. I'm going to make some mojitos. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is the mint. greatest mint I've ever seen. So I'm going to just cheat a little bit. I'm going to put our mint in there. And how do you make your mojitos? Well, I mean, today we've got the mix. Yeah. But Originally, I guess, suppose like if you're gonna do it from scratch. I'm cheating. <laughs> it's okay to cheat. I'm but you would cheating. do sugar, you put a lot of sugar, you, you put some limes in there, and you put some mint, and you crush it with something like that, that like that oh, really? rock thing. Oh, yeah, right. So you would do it with this, but this, you know, you do oh. it with like a wooden one, like a wooden mallet. Or mallet. Something. Yeah. yeah, there you go. And um, I'm actually gonna be putting mint in, the, in my dish as well. I'm gonna have some scallions some cilantro and some mm. mint, mm. some All chili and some lime, so it's so actually I'm gonna, gonna pair well. This. So generally you would put your uh, in there and you would crush it down and make it into a mulch. And I'm just gonna crush it a little bit, ooh, just to get the juices out of it, yeah, right? that's what you want. And then, now if I wanted to use a chili in a mojito, <laughs> You could have a chili lime mojito. But There's nothing minute. wrong with that. You did something special. Oh, I made you, some some ice. Mint ice. Yeah. Chili ice. Uh, uh, and then she made cucumber ice, strawberry ice. Now, what do you use the chili pepper ice? For? I like to use it in the Bloody Mary. Oh boy, that Which is so good. It's key. So we have all these great ices. <laughs> She there has we a go. Secret. <laughs> oh, thank you. How many do you want? I don't know. Three? What, okay. Four? Uh, you tell me. Let's put four because okay. I like a lot of ice. Okay, a lot of ice and a mojito too. And it looks real pretty. It looks pretty. Look at this. Isn't this great? Cheers. Cheers. Here's mojito. to summer coming any day now. And a green thing. Look at that mint. Isn't that great? Yeah. It's a great looking glass. Give me a little bit of the lime here. Yeah. Toast again. Mmm. Whoa. Dangerous. That is, oh, man. Whoa. This is really good and perfect for a nice spring drink. Talk about it. That's the best mojito I have made. Mm. It must be the mint ice. <laughs> Mojitos! But you gotta drink them later. We're drinking them now. <laughs> I can't wait to go and plant my oriental basil and my Thai hot peppers. Ooh, I'm gonna be some kind of mama. <laughs> Thank you so much. All Here's right, Nicole, girl. I guess we better get to the pot because you tell me that cooking this pork is like me frying chicken. I have to stay on the chicken, girl. Yeah. You got to stay on the chicken. It's really key that you do not make a patty. Do so, not make a patty. You want the have. pork to stay ground. And stay separate from all other foods so that you don't risk contamination in the kitchen. What's yes. the benefits of this medical cooking? Well, you know, with the chili, like I mentioned before, we're using this as a, primarily as an ingredient, although mm -hmm. everything else has medicinal value. The chili treats lung and skin disorders. Oh, wow. And I mean, you would have to go and have things diagnosed because it depends, you want to have... Right, like, always you can't, It doesn't treat doctor. all lung conditions. It's not like a sweeping treatment, but that's the general treatment of the chili. And then we also have the garlic, which we crushed about 15 minutes ago. Oh, with the golden rock. Exactly, and, that's, and the garlic, you know, it takes about 15 minutes after you crush, you have to crush the garlic in order for the enzymes to react and then create the medicinal quality. So you want to have like the, you know, it's going to be antibacterial, right. antifungal, antiviral. 
you want the garlic to sit for 15 minutes after you crush it. And then we've got the lime, we've got the mint, which we mentioned is good for it's PMS. Good. <laughs> I'm glad I don't things. have that. At 28, I can't get that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we now, now we're going to fry, the, fry the pork. So okay, so how just going to turn that? this on. You want the heat to get nice and hot. It's going to splash a bit. So I'm going to ask you to step back. Okay. I don't want you to get burnt. Don't worry. I'll, I, I'll I, burn first. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> I love a girl that's going to burn for me. <laughs> it is. Ooh, that is porky strong. That's so fresh and fresh. You want pork? You, you know, the reason the Chinese store is a little bit better than what you get in the supermarkets is because they grind it fresh daily. Okay. Whereas if you buy it in Julasco and all these other places, they're grinding it days ahead of time. And then you've got, right? you don't have like, you can just toss that in the, in okay. the sink. But um, the reason a fresh grind is better is because it's easier to keep it minced when you cook it. Okay. So you're just gonna let it let it sit so it sears a little bit on that side, and then we'll okay. start stirring it. I'm just gonna wash my hands. Oh, okay, good enough. Isn't this great, folks? Oh, I love this kind of cooking here. Super. Oh, that looks good. So, so you gotta keep doing it. I'm doing about five pounds of pork here. Oh, that's okay. But because okay. you know we were gonna feed a lot of people, I'm gonna oh, send let's you home with some. Uh, again. <laughs> I'm gonna send you home with some pork too. Okay. And this. Well, you know what I brought you. I brought you chitlins. The chitlins. And they're right over here, folks. The little I'm chits. excited about the chitlins. The chits are right here. Some wow. Ch chitlins, girl. That is a sexy dish. It is. That is a and you sexy say, dish. Now, you know chitlins is the intestines of a pig. I like the guts more than the outside. I love a girl that likes guts. I love She's guts. She's got guts. I've and, got guts. I love guts. And I tell you. Guts is well, good. Now, let me tell you how to eat them. We're going to have hot sauce with it, right? Yes. I made them a little spicy just for you. I am a chitlin virgin. Uh, a chitlin virgin. I like I that. I am. LaDonna Tittle putting the tittle in the middle. No longer virgin. Mmm. Spicy. Ooh, at the end. Yeah, it kind of comes on you down. Mm. Chillin', she likes the guts. Mmm. Mmm. Take a second bite. Mm hmm. Now that's with nothing on it. This is almost like a pasta. Ooh. It's got that, like, it's like a meat pasta. Look at me, like I'm gonna kill somebody. <laughs> the knife out your hand, Tittle. This is like a meat pasta. This is. Delicious. You could do this with like. You like them? Oh, it's killer. Mm, I love it. Mm hmm. And I did these with a red apple and a green apple. And Ooh, by the way, awesome. no, now I'm trying with that. And then to make our chitlins green, because we're about the green, I'm gonna give this a rinse. You just enjoy your chitlins. They're good. <laughs> now, when you scream like that, girlfriend, man. I gotta do one quick stir. Oh, do a quick stir. You gotta keep doing this. You gotta keep at it. You, it's, you can't be weak about it. You have to be all power with power. this. Yeah, full on grind machine. If you quit, then you're gonna have a pork patty and it won't be what we're looking for here. This is the other white meat, although I think it's the original white meat. I don't really believe in that <laughs> other white meat thing. If you're interested in hearing more about all these medicinal values to food, you can always read my blog if you want, which is a really fun blog. It's called The Spice Doc, D-O-C. Dot blogspot.com. So, you know, I, I talk about the cabbage, which has a really interesting story, actually. Tell us. Cabbage, because of its high sulfur content, which they think is very good for purifying the blood and for creating, like, movement in the body, like circulation, rather, mm -hmm. um, is very good. And again, we're back to lactation. If you have an inflamed breast and you're trying to breastfeed, you can bruise a, a cabbage leaf and massage it into your breast. Or if you have a 
a sore or like a, a wound or something, mm -hmm. you can make a poultice with cabbage, which is actually on my blog, and you can read about how to actually specifically do it. Oh, that's wonderful. We so. need healthy tips today. Yeah. And without going to the doctor, my goodness. Well, you should go to the doctor, too. Okay. I, I always recommend, depending on what people come to see me for, to go to the doctor. First. Just to make sure, well, I mean, you know, it's a balance between the two. It all depends. It's a case-by-case -case thing, but I work well with doctors. I don't work solo. Okay. Well, that's good to know so you. So see that grind? I love it. See how it's nice? And now what I'm doing is I'm letting it sit a bit so it gets crispier. I want it to crisp up a little bit. Oh, really? Before, oh, okay. before I mix it in with all the things we talked about earlier. Well, you know what we call that? What do we call? call Getting an edge on the food. <laughs> we call it a fry daddy. A we fry put a fry daddy. daddy on it. There we go. It's a little crisp. And you know what? Black folks love fried, baby. All right. Say fried, we at the table. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> I think most people love fried. I, I do believe off, that. I would live off that. As so you have a look at that beautiful crisp. Oh, look at that crisp. Ooh, fried you daddy. Want that. That's the best part. That's like the part that you fight for when you're growing up. Oh, yes, you do. And you know what my mother always told me? You scrape that last bottom. Yeah, out, baby. My, mom my mom still scrapes that. She steals yes. it from me. She does. <laughs> she does. She steals it from under my nose. Who came first, the chicken or the egg? <laughs> I have never been able to answer Don't that. Don't tell your mother. <laughs> <laughs> the chicken came first. That's right. Or, yes, that's right. She sure did. I'm a okay. chicken now. Okay, all right. Ooh, this so looks we've got good. that going on, and then we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna mix the stuff into it. Oh, so I get gonna, to mix. Oh, I'm so happy. It's actually the most exciting part. You it know, is. Whoops! I'm going through the hole. One second. Uh, Let me just go through the side. Don't worry. You know what? <laughs> if it's one thing we don't do, <laughs> we don't chop regular. No. We make irregular shapes. We do. And we're just and an we're okay off the it. cuff cooking show. We are. We're like a cooking show that has fun. And this is a great ethnic dish now. This dish. So we've got about four or five uh, pounds. Should I stir? Pork. Yeah, keep it stirring. It was okay. And while she stirs, I'm just going to start adding fish sauce. Oh, wow. Now, what does now that I do? Now, I do this to taste, but for four or five pounds, like per pound, I would do at least one or two tablespoons. Oh, Depends wow. on, this is the salt of the dish. It is? This is the salt. You're not adding salt. This is salty. It's fish sauce. So should I fold odd. it in keep folding, or stir? Keep folding. I should fold it. Yeah, keep right, folding. Fold. And I'm gonna just throw mint leaves oh, in Oh, wow. Mint leaves. Whole mint leaves. Just think while you're eating all this dish, the onions, the scallions, and all, everything. Your breath will smell good at the same time. Woo! Woo! Here we go. Whoa! So we can just, you don't need a whole lot of cabbage, but I'm gonna do two slices, but you can see how it's sliced here. Oh, is that a slice of a cabbage or what? We've got a little dessert We here. got our final drink, and it's a dessert. It's a rose what? and milk tea with a little sugar. So we have this uh, awesome lap moo, lap around the moon. Mm-hmm. It's called Bon Appetit, let's eat. Mm. <laughs> and it's your lunch you like. Mm. You really like? Mm -hmm. Ooh, the lamp. Ooh. Ooh, it's got a bite to it. That kick. Ooh, the chitlins. Whoa. Mm. The chitlins are amazing. It's all about the pork and the chili here. Mm -hmm. With the rice. We did make Sebastian a plate, right? 